All week, we've been showing you different interviews from our time in Nova Scotia. We were there last week for Grand Prix 2017. The event is a celebration of the relationship between the Acadians and the Mi'kmaq people. That friendship can be traced back more than 400 years to Port Royal in the Annapolis Valley. It's a place where the two groups first made contact. We took a tour of the historic site. What you're seeing is Port Royal National Historic Site. It's a reconstruction of a French settlement that was established back in 1605 by Pierre du Guin sur Demont. There had been previous attempts by Europeans to try to settle in Canada as early as the Vikings, but none of these had endured. This would have been the only European site. The explorer cartographer Samuel de Champlain, who would later go to Quebec in 1608 and establish l'habitation de Québec, he had been very impressed by the view that we have here behind us, and he mar remarked in his journal that up to this point in the journey, he had not seen as beautiful a port, and he had called it Le Port Royal. This is not the first time that the Mi'kmaq would have met Europeans, so this is more the beginning of erecting of structures and staying more permanently in Mi'kmaq territory, and so there was a sharing of cultures, and certainly the uh, French would learn a lot from the Mi'kmaq's various survival skills. Our province is now called, by the English, Nova Scotia. That's, that's uh, Latin for New Scotland because the Scots came next and settled in this harbor. Then in the 1630s, a treaty gave the land back to the French, and that is where the families arrived. And with the arrival of women and the birth of children in Acadie, it would start Le Peuple Acadien, the Acadian people, people of French origin, but not born in France like Champlain, born here in Acadie. Now here we are inside of the reconstructed Port Royal National Historic Site. So this is the first reconstruction ever done by Parks Canada, 1938-39, based on Champlain's picture plan and his written accounts and descriptions. It's an enclosed area. It looks a bit like a fort from the outside. Now it's a series of workshops, uh, living quarters, storage areas. All the needs of the community were addressed within the shelter of this community. The uh, first couple of winters have been very difficult, and so winters are very long and tedious, boredom setting in. So to try to alleviate the boredom and keep the men active, entertained, and well-fed, Samuel de Champlain conceived the idea of starting a social club called L'Ordre de Bon Temps. So during the winter months, the upper-class gentlemen would take their turns in organizing a feast for the rest of the company. It was a bit of a competition among the men to see who was the best chef. I wanted to introduce you to Judy Pearson. She's from Bear River First Nation. She's Mi'kmaq, and so she's a descendant of the first peoples of these lands. The Mi'kmaq uh, have lived everywhere in Nova Scotia, and uh, it was very important uh, because this was their home. In the summertime, they would always be camped down near the river, and they would do their fishing, and they would smoke and dry fish. They would pick wild berries. They would mash them on the rock and they would put, these flakes were put away for winter use. So pretty well all summer long, they were getting prepared for those winter months. The area has always been very, very special to the Mi'kmaq people. They've been here for thousands of years. And I think it's very important that the people know the Mi'kmaq were the first peoples. It's really great because now we are getting to show other people our culture, how we lived, and how we survived. There was a lot of things that happened to the Mi'kmaq over the years. We can't go backward, we have to go forward. Your morning is giving you the chance to win a trip for two to beautiful Grand Prairie, Nova Scotia. The prize includes airfare, rental car, and a five-night stay at the historic White Point Resort. Head to our website, yourmorning.ca, to enter.